Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you a property of the Rubik's Cube. The 3x3 cube card in six different colors, and you can turn any face in any direction. And most of the things in the Rubik's Cube are not be able to understand. I am if you happen to know group theory. But for this, all you need to know is some fourth grade math. So, then, let's get started. So, first thing you have to do is obviously look at this thing closer. Here we have the yellow face pointing towards us, and above that would be the red face. You don't have to hold the cube like this, although for this, right here, it is better if you do it. So then we're going to show you an algorithm. Take the right face, this face, and turn it clockwise. Take the top face and turn it clockwise. And then you keep doing that. And the question is, how many times do you have to do it before you are back to the original position? And it appears the only way you can work this out is if you actually did the algorithm until you got back to the position and then you counted it. But you don't have to do that. You can work it out. And it's not too hard to work it out. So let's look at individual pieces like the red, blue, and yellow. If you do the algorithm three times, this piece is back into its exact position, just like this. One, two, three, and it is exactly where it was, oriented the same way in everything. If you wanna know how to figure out how many moves it takes for the whole thing to get back? You have to do it for all the individual pieces. Like what about the red and yellow piece? If you do the algorithm seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it is exactly where it was when we, before we started. So you can just do this for all the pieces, so you really don't have to worry about all of these. And you get a chart. My chart looks something a bit like this. Red, blue, yellow piece takes three times, as we just saw. The orange, blue, yellow piece, that would be this one right here. It takes 15 times. The white, blue, orange piece takes 15, and there's a chart. So now three times gets the red, blue, yellow piece back. Six times would also, and so would nine times. 15 times gets the orange, blue, yellow piece back in order. So that's 30 and 45. So you have to find the lowest common denominator of all of these numbers. 3, 15, and 7, since there are so many repeats. The lowest common multiple of 3, 15, and 7 is 105. So if you do the algorithm 105 times, it gets back into its position. So let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 